Welcome to this session of Go Ask Debbie, PowerPoint Tutorial Cinemagraphs. So what's the difference between a GIF and a cinemagraph? A GIF is simply a series of still images placed together to look like they're moving or to look like a short video. See in this GIF here, it looks like it's a little choppy. It's just images that were put together to form what appears to be a video and there's movement all around the clip. A cinemagraph, on the other hand, is a video that has an isolated portion of the video that keeps the movement. They can draw attention to a specific area of the video to help make your point. This is perfect for PowerPoint presentations when you need to explain a point or point out something specific that you don't want to just use boring arrows or other ways to draw the viewer's eyes. Look at this first video. This is a boring video from a shopping mall's camera, so it's black and white and nothing really stands out. However, after I add the effect, the little girl on the escalator is the only thing moving and it draws your attention to her. And somehow it's no longer a boring black and white video or photo. So now let me show you how I did this. First, open PowerPoint and insert the video you'd like to edit. You should really think of the message you want to send before you select your video. And of course, make sure you have the appropriate copyrights to use the video. This original video shows the entire movement of the water and sky, including the clouds. But let's say we're talking about cloud formations and we'd like to isolate the cloud movement. First, I'll duplicate the video. Depending on the effect, you may want to trim the video to only a portion that you want to show or a portion that matches up with the portion you're gonna keep as the movement. In this instance, the whole video is fine, so I'm going to crop the video so that it only includes the sky. Basically, I have both videos on the slide, but I'm going to leave one static, meaning it will not play. It'll appear as an image. And the second video, the one I've cropped to just include the sky and the clouds, will keep its movement or motion. Next, you'll want to fix the animations. So I'll select the first video, the one I don't want to move, and click on the Playback tab. Since this is already set up to start on click, I'm going to leave it alone. Next, click on the copy, the one that I cropped, to just keep the sky and clouds. Click on the playback tab, and on this one, I'll select the automatic start option. Next, just to check that all my settings are correct, I'll click on the animations tab and open the animation pane. If the original video shows in the animation pane, I like to delete it just to make sure I don't accidentally click to start it playing while I'm presenting. So let's play our slideshow and see how it looks. Notice that the water and waterfalls remain motionless and the sky and clouds are what's moving. When playing this slide, you would draw the viewer's eyes to the sky and clouds. So it looks cool, right? It's a great way to just be different in your presentation and point out things without having to use arrows or other options in the slide in PowerPoint. So that's how you create a cinemagraph using PowerPoint. You can really get creative and make your PowerPoint presentation stand out by using this technique. However, as with all PowerPoint tips and tricks, limit your presentations to just one or two. Do not have every slide include a cinemagraph, for example. If you do, it'll get old and lose its effect on your audience. If you're still here, I'm going to give you a bonus and show you the first video and how I made the little girl on the escalator isolated as the only movement. So first, I'll copy the video and make sure that it's lined up with the original. And then I'll crop it, just the copy, to just show the little girl and a little bit around her so that it appears that she and the escalator that she's on are the only thing moving. In this video, I actually found that adding a little bit of a soft edge helped the look when she was moving. So let's do that. So as you play with this, you may have to practice with your videos when you're creating cinemagraphs and see what works best with the video that you're using. Okay, so I've cropped her. Now I'll do the same thing as I did when I showed you the cloud example. I'll make sure that the original video has a start on click animation on the playback tab. Then I'll add an automatic start for the video with the little girl, the one that I cropped, the one that I wanna show movement on. In the cloud video, I showed you that I selected the loop until stopped option. 
but I found that with this little girl video, it will start to look like a GIF and get really choppy, so it doesn't work as well. So again, you'll need to see how your specific video works and select the options that make it look best. So that's it. Now, when we view the slideshow, she appears to be the only thing moving, and this little black and white boring video now isolates her moving on the escalator and draws your eyes to that movement. I hope this gives you some inspiration, so now go practice with cinemagraphs and have fun with it. If you like this tip, please like and comment below, and to receive other tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell next to the subscribe button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching this session of Go Ask Debbie.